Okay, there we go. Get it, get out of this. Okay. So, uh, what we're going to be doing today is taking uh, this 1983 Ford Ranger out and mudding it. Just trail riding all that stuff. Put a 302 in it, V8. Was a trail tune. Has ready suspension. The 36 inch boggers. I didn't switch the winch because you can't. I put an engager bolt on for diff lock. I did put a snorkel on. I didn't do any of that. I didn't do any options that I just changed the color. Just showing anybody if they want to uh, use these mods or remake them. And then what we're going to be hauling it with is uh, the 66 Dually Crew. I'll show more out, but uh, we have a trail runner diesel spec on it with the stock here 6 speed. Co haul for the suspension 40 inch X runner trains, 12 inch vault winch, diff lock, then it has an invisible cage snorkel. We're not very really offering, so that doesn't matter. It has a pintle hitch for the trail I'm going to use. I can, I'll show that too. And then I put the trail scout bumper on for the winch. And then just has the rear bumper. Yeah, I just have the dually bed on, which you can put service, bed rack, all that stuff. And then I have standard dually rims on. And then obviously I change the color to the light blue option. Because I just think that fits this truck very well. Let's start it up. And let's get the trailer ready for the Ford Ranger. Since uh, we're not using anything too big, we'll just do a tag along. Uh, TWM Michelin 2500 ton. Which I'll show that uh, off. Uh, triple axle. You know, just. Uh, Bumper, or pintle, I guess. Bumper pull, all that. Okay, then we'll go get the Ford Ranger, and then we'll head out. Turn off the handbrake, obviously. Just alone and up. We'll put it right here. I guess we could go a little bit further. Like that. Just angle the tires a little bit. Turn it off. Did I turn on the handbrake? Yeah, it's on. Okay. Everything's good. I turn off the handbrake, obviously. I'm not trying to press the flank. Very nice mods so far. I haven't used either one of these that much. First time using the Ranger. I've used the trailer a lot, but I have not used this Dually Crew. But I have used uh, some of his other mods. I just wanted to show off some of the interior, but because he's insane with his uh, detail, attention to detail, I guess. But I 
screw cap dually. Even working dials, which is very nice. That's going to be in the next video, taking out that YJ, that Cummins. Let's uh, stop and see where we're going to take this to. Okay. Uh, we can either go... We could probably take it down this road and then bring it somewhere over here so then I can... Drive all the way around type thing. Because uh, there's some bridges and some fun trails over here. So yeah, we'll probably take it down here. I think there's some trail over here. So we'll park the truck along the roadside. And drive through the trails and all the way back. Truck. Both of them. I really do like the 66 uh, dually though. Maybe I should take uh, a mod like this soft loading. Put on giant like 48 or something. I can't remember. Uh, I think you can put up this truck on 48. Right now it's on 40s. Okay. I'm just getting a little rowdy, the truck is. We'll just pull into this ditch. We'll get even though, so. We could have stayed on the road, but I don't, I don't mind parking in the ditch. Makes more reasonable sense, not being right on the road, but there's actually nobody else in this game, so it wouldn't even matter. But, yeah, we'll turn this off. No point in leaving it running for a little bit. We'll just let it roll. There we go. And we'll just follow along this trail. We're probably going first person for a little bit. Seems a little fast. We'll just take a look at the interior before we go through this one. So pretty nice. Uh, it's 
I don't, I don't know if they have red interiors, I have no idea, I don't, I've barely ever seen this uh, year of Ford Ranger, but let's just go through the mud. Wouldn't be surprised if I did, I think a lot of trucks of the 80s and 90s had code for interiors, or just the older vehicles in general, just making sure I know what they're on. handle like no problem not surprised it is a Ford Ranger those boggers are very tearing it up In this game, it is technically VA swap, uh, V, VA swapped, not VA. Don't know what that means. Well, it, it might not sound like it, but it, but at the beginning, where I swapped in a 302. I think it just has the 4 liter V6 uh, noise. I would assume. I'm not a Ford person, so I don't really know the specific sounds of the engines. But I'm just not, I'm just guessing. It's not, this isn't the sound of a V8. A little rowdy, a little hard to control. Let's take like this trail. I think it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I've turned lights on since it's such a dark view of the interior. Because I think the winters are tinted. Look for the mud there. Got a bridge up here. Oh, and it is pretty dark outside, I guess. We can switch it back into it auto once we're on the bridge. I'll just take a left up here. The deep mud is very trying to stop it now. Or slow it down at least. Maybe not completely stop. I do think some of the mud ends up there. It doesn't look as muddy right there. We'll just put on low plus, you know. We'll just slowly go through. I really do like this mod. It's hot. Not stupidly fast. Uh, it doesn't have the biggest tire. I think it. For an off roader, you don't need 40s. It's enjoyable to get these smaller trucks. It's like 36s, 35s, even 33s. Just mod them up a bit. And take them out instead of just getting on, uh, say, uh, lifted Cummins or something like a truck on 44s, like an 8 12 inch lift. I do enjoy it, but just like these little trucks, too.
I think our little trucks for some were pretty good for off-roading since uh, they're, they're light. So I think it's harder for them to sink in the mud. I think that's why Tacomas and all that are so good. And Tundras and the Forerunners. I'll go this way. And I think these, like, uh, all the small trucks make pretty good power. I'm not sure about the very older ones, but, like, the newer ones, like, 2000 cell. Make probably more than 200 horsepower. We might be stuck, let's look. Oh, it's almost there. We can probably get out without winching though. Because we're slowly moving. We're not completely stuck, there we go. I think uh, the right tire is getting loose. Just need to get both front ones loose out of the very deep mud right there. There we go. I need to get the back ones out. Yeah, I turn off the lights. So it's not blinding the camera. Now if this gets stuck where well, we don't have any trees or anything, which probably won't happen, there's always trees around. I would I would bring in the dually crew come get it, but I don't think we're going to need to. I don't know why I switched out of, but it's somehow working. This is very enjoyable to play snow and on the keyboard and mouse. I didn't think it was going to be not this easy, but it's fun. Because I always thought comps would just be easier and more enjoyable. Which it is easier to a degree. But it's nice having the buttons for everything in a different layout on a controller. Watch is gonna take me a long time to learn. Oh, if I keep one of us, I might even try making a video later today on that. We'll see how that goes. Oh, we're kind of sinking right now. Here yeah, we may have to winch under something. Oh, that tree is right upon us. Just break loose. Try not to break the tree with the weight of the render. There we go. Oh, we got some deep water up ahead. We got many lights on now because it's getting really dark. Pretty deep. 
Good thing there's a snuffle. Hope, hope, hopefully we have no audio issues on this video. That would be terrible. I've had it on the last three videos I tried to record. I just need to pay more attention. Interesting road going on these trails. Like that took a suburban. Look at 1538, I think it was. In this game with a 6.2 liter twin turbo. And uh, they didn't do so well here. I think I had to winch like three times, two or three. But also, I think uh, with this mod, the 36s are bigger than the 38s on that truck. Because I, I don't know whose measurements on uh, which mod is actually right. Doesn't really matter either, but like when certain people have 40s and they're massive compared to other modders 38s, like there's such a noticeable difference. Like yeah, I'll, I'll even show it uh, after we're done off road and when I drive it back to the garage, I'll get a something with uh, 38 on it versus that dual crew those 40s but since we're out of the mod this thing is just cruising we're making work of this trail I thought that shoe was going to really hurt the suspension. So I think we're actually kind of heading back to the truck right now. I just need to check something. Oh, I just I just want to make sure like the video was only like five minutes long or something. I know it wasn't, but I just want to double check. But since we're gonna drive back there anyways, and I'll show or something. We'll take this uh, mudding again. Though. I never not enjoy going off roading this one. I was gonna try to hold up on the trailer with some speed, but I knew it wasn't gonna go well since uh, it's so uneven over here. We can even get at some gas at the gas station quickly. I accidentally pressed shift, I don't know why I pressed shift. Did I not put up the ramps? I, I did not put up the ramps. Oops. I thought I did. Oh, I might have uh, started driving too quickly before that full animation. That would make sense.
six speed uh paired with uh, this diesel goes pretty fast because we're going like 80 miles per hour it's not too big of a load on the back it's only a range right now small low trailer so i guess it makes sense but we're still on 40s and everything and this truck probably weighs quite a bit so it's still pretty impressive As we go off into the ditch, that one would have been fun. Last thing I want to do is side swipe this against the sign. You could have fit like two Ford Rangers on this trailer if you really tried. Trying to show multiple camera angles of this truck and the trailer. What are we in? We went high. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, how did I go up like three gears without even shifting once? Can't remember what the button is, so it's to get gas. So I'm gonna have to. Oh, that is not what I wanted. I just wanted to unpack it. So, uh. Where just. Do that. Nope. Not what I wanted. There we go. Yeah, this. What is this camera angle? There we go. Okay, we're just gonna have a very bad camera angle either way. Uh, I think it's C. Yeah, it is C. So yeah, we went down uh, quite a bit. Just some more fun, you know. So. And we'll take us back to the garage. I'm gonna show you uh, like what I mean with the tire difference for some mods. I definitely recommend these mobs though, a lot of fun. Maybe I was wrong about the tire size here, but either way, we'll, we'll see. Alright, I need to go into the garage to get the cut suburban out. I will make a day so. So we can actually see though. How do I get time? I'm gonna make it afternoon. Okay, I was actually completely wrong about the tire size. 
I don't I don't know why I thought it was so much smaller because uh, these are 38. I know it's a 40s, but those are sunk into the ground a tiny bit, but they're, they're pretty pretty similar. So I don't know what it was. I don't know what I was talking about, so I was definitely wrong. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day. And see you in the next one.